Whip it! Whip it good! Started with this video, give it a thumbs up, broski. Right now, thumbs up. I'm not starting until you give it a thumbs up, bro. Like, all right, we have some dope Nintendo Switch news items for this video. But the first one, Nintendo fans are mad. Why are you mad, bro? <laughs> Hey, we crazy, bro. We crazy. <laughs> we'll review Bomber Game for no apparent reason. Little Town Hero just dropped and now the game has been getting some mixed reviews overall. Based on people that I know who've personally played the game, they like it. But some sites have given it good reviews. Some sites have given it bad reviews. But... Metacritic Users are review bombing the game. Why? Pokemon <laughs> Little Town Hero is made by Game Freak the same developers of Pokemon Sword Shield and Pokemon fans are mad that this game is taking away development time and talent from this game some fans are complaining the reason why Pokemon Sword and Shield isn't as epic, doesn't look as good as it can look, is because of Game Freak wasting time on <laughs> Little Town Hero. I thought this was so funny. What? They can't make no other game than Pokemon now? This is where we're at, Nintendo fans. Well, we've reduced a company to just making one game. They can't do nothing but Pokemon. The one fan on Metacritic, they gave the game a zero. They gave Little Todd Hero a zero. And Hero, he said, they spent all their resources on this instead of a good next iteration of their bread and butter. <laughs> that dude said, they spent all their resources on this instead of this. I have to say, maybe it's just me. I say this all the time. The cat, the Pokemon and Pokemon Sword and Shield have some of the best new Pokemon. Ow, hey. But, uh, Gay Freak did get caught for recycling animations. Some of the animations for some of the Pokemon, like Pikachu, I remember Pikachu, I think Eevee too were recycled from the 3DS, um, uh, XY, uh, Sun and Moon. And so that was true. They were called out on that. And so fans did call them out on that. But to the credit, there are a lot of new Pokemon. And the new Pokemon designs do look cool. So this game is suffering <laughs> because of raging Pokemon fans. They're like, Game Freak, don't make no other games but Pokemon. All right, next news item. This just broke today, and I'm going to share my thoughts. This is related to Nintendo, even though it's Sony. It's being reported slash rumored that the PlayStation 5 will have full backwards compatibility with every single PlayStation console ever made. PlayStation 4, 3, 2, and 1. So if you get a PlayStation 5, you would be able to potentially play every single PlayStation game ever made. I really don't care. I tweeted this on Twitter. By the way, follow me at Obi One Plays on Twitter. The only company I care about, I care about backwards compatibility, is Nintendo. Bruh, have you ever played Tomb Raider on the PlayStation One? 
Lara Croft moves like a tank. The gameplay is horrible. Check this out. Watch if she has to move. Yes, it's, it's so clunky. Most of last past generation games did not age well. For some reason, in my opinion, only Nintendo games have stood the test of time. Bro, you could play Mario 64 right now and the game runs and plays. Bro, I remember this specifically. I had Mario 64, my Nintendo 64, my cousin had um, Tomb Raider on his PlayStation 1. And I went over to his house to play Tomb Raider. I was like, dude, this is garbage. Bro, Mario was miles ahead of everything else on the market. And so, bro, sign me up to play a Mario 64, to play Metroid Prime, to play any Pikmin game, to play Ocarina of Time. Bro, this game was the foundation that most 3D combat games still pace base their combat on z targeting where you lock onto your enemy and you you no matter where you move you're focused on your enemy it started in this game and game developers are still using it today the only backwards compatible games i care about are nintendo games most of these other companies their games just don't age well bro nintendo is a gaming company my Xbox One, I could care less when, when Microsoft announced Xbox 360 backwards compatibility. I didn't, I'm not going back to play any of my Xbox 360 games. I want to play the current gen games, except for the Nintendo games. Those are only games that I would play retro or go back and play. So, PlayStation 5 will have, may have, according to this latest rumor, full backwards compatibility. And I don't care. I'll play them current playstation 5 games but i ain't going back to play playstation 3 playstation 2 playstation 1 games they're garbage all right next news item i haven't reported on this controller but I, we need to talk about this for a second bro we need to talk about this for a second bro what is this monstrosity 8-bit dough they are a company. Let me give. Let me show you my um, eight bit control. Hold on. Hold on. That didn't take long. That didn't take long at all. Eight bit. Go. Shout out. Who was the sponsor that gave me this? I think it was Claim. Was it you, Claim, who hooked me up with this? With they make um, portable controllers that are thin, light. My my um, chroma key is messing this up, but. They're made to be portable. This one was pretty dope, bro. The first 8 bit, though. Bruh. Bruh. Two D pads? What is this? This is supposed to be the 8 bit, though, light for the Nintendo Switch light. I guess the only thing I can say about this is convenient. It slides right into your pocket. Maybe, just maybe, it isn't a digital D pad and some kind of analog d-pad where it's pressure sensitive or two d-pads just don't make sense bro what do you guys think about this i was confused but it's out and you can go get it now speaking of what you can go and get now bro amazon right now has the new revised version of the Nintendo Switch, the one with the crazy battery life to for two for two hundred and seventy five dollars two seventy four which is twenty five bucks off of the original switch so if you're thinking about getting one a new revised switch or trying to get one for somebody as a gift for Christmas save yourself twenty five bucks go check out amazon.com right now the revised switch bro the battery life in this is crazy bro we just had a baby girl this has been crazy bro to play portable uh anywhere this is convenient for dads it is um last news item i know dudes are probably like 
why in the world does he have Simon Belmont in this video? Booyah, right here, bruh. Arcade Archives versus Castlevania has just launched on the Nintendo Switch today, October 17th, according to this reporting. It only runs you $7.99, 8 bucks on the Switch eShop, so if you want to check it out, um, old school Castlevania games. I've only played Castlevania, the first one, on the NES, but it's available now if you want to get it. All right, dudes, what do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things Nintendo. We out, boy. Focus. I was waiting for my camera to focus. Dracula.